Word of a deadly illness arriving in America for the first time. It is called MERS, and this evening the American infected is in quarantine. And they're now looking for anyone the patient might have come in contact with. Here's ABC's senior medical contributor, Dr. Jen Ashton. It is the first confirmed case in the U.S. This is a rare but very serious, very dangerous respiratory infection, number one. We want people to know that we are tracking it. Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, MERS. According to the CDC, a patient was admitted to a hospital in Munster, Indiana, early last week, suffering from fever, cough, and shortness of breath. The patient was infected while working as a health care provider in Saudi Arabia. On April 24th, traveled from Riyadh to London, then on to Chicago on an American Airlines flight. From there, a bus ride to Indiana. We understand he's stable. This particular person is doing well, doing better than when he had, uh, was admitted. MERS started in the Middle East only two years ago. And since then, 93 of the 254 patients with lab-confirmed cases have died, roughly one in three. It's extraordinarily unlikely that uh, there will be an outbreak uh, of, of MERS uh, in the United States. There is no evidence that the virus has spread here in the U.S., but the CDC will not breathe a sigh of relief till they've contacted passengers on that plane and bus. Dr. Jennifer Ashton, ABC News, New York.